You screwed it up because, well, we got to keep our workers going. Your, your workers are sitting there by a thread right now. What makes you think that you're not going to lose an hour? You can, you look guys, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm going to beat this over the head. I've probably beaten this over the head so many times. Look, bottom line is, if somebody wrote a check last year at the end of 2022 to help every dealership get out of their inventory, you wouldn't be in this mess. But you wait till, you, you still haven't done anything. You bailed out Bish's RV. That didn't help you get orders. But if you wrote the check to every single single location for 10%, 15% of invoice, you wouldn't be in this situation. So I don't feel bad for any manufacturers right now. I would love to work on that side of the business again. I don't feel bad for him though. This is a self, it's like a self-inflicted gunshot wound. I mean, this is all on them. This has nothing to do with you, the consumer, and has nothing to do with me, the dealer. The consumer is just being smarter. They're like, man, I, this is what I can afford monthly. I'm not gonna double it just because the company, just because the manufacturer went up and doubled it. It makes no sense, right? So that, that's the end of that rant and rave and all that stuff. So th th that's where I sit when it comes to the manufacturers. Now let's talk about something that's on a lot of people's minds right now. And that is why are campgrounds getting stricter with the age limit? <clears throat> and this is going to hurt, okay? So I talked, I, I'm actually was trying to find a space for a customer uh, that lives in Las Vegas. I'm in a little city called Pahrump, which is about an hour drive from the Las Vegas, Nevada Strip. And I was trying to find this young lady uh, a spot anywhere in Vegas. And there was, oh, 16 parks I called, I think it was, 16 or 17 parks. And those parks basically stated to me that if you're not a 2016 or 17 or newer, they're gonna put you at the back of the list. So those that have had a trailer or a motorhome for 15, 20 years, it's still in good working condition, it's gonna get really hard to find spots. It's getting harder and harder because they're getting stricter and stricter because there isn't enough RV parks out there. There isn't enough campgrounds out there with full hookups. So I have a solution to this. This is a, this is a solution I was talking to a customer about yesterday. Now this doesn't help people that wanna live in one in a park, but this is for those that like to travel in them. So let's say you have like a 10 or $15,000 budget. You want a fifth wheel. You buy a nice 06, 07, 08, nice looking fifth wheel, good shape. Everything works. I would buy a generator, a big generator and a big secondary fuel station for that generator. You're gonna buy a portable, okay? And the next thing I would do is throw a bunch of solar. I would throw in between 330 and 660 watts of solar and put a small uh, inverter for two of the plug outlets. And the reason why I'm telling you to do this is because then when you go to, there, there's a lot of off-grid non-hookup sites that it doesn't matter what the age of the RV is. If you go up into Bishop, California, June Lake, California, you go up to parts of Bryce Canyon uh, in Utah, uh, you go to parts of Death Valley, you head up towards north of Reno and Tahoe area, there's a lot of campsites that are not RV parks or RV resorts that it doesn't matter what age your fifth wheel is. Now, 
The exceptions to that are like some state parks have tougher restrictions depending on your area. I know Oregon and Washington have very tough restrictions. California is a little more lenient. If you're on the East Coast, I don't know you as well, but <clears throat> this is something I believe, uh, let's see, okay. This is something I believe uh, is gonna help resolve this whole age of the trailer, age of the motorhome situation. Um, the reason I believe that is because they're not gonna restrict people from paying their 20 bucks or 25 bucks to go to like Kachuma Lake. Like I can take any RV, any age I want to Kachuma Lake, as long as it's not in the plug-in area, and I can dry camp right on the lake, have, I, I always bring extra water anyway, but take camping showers. And <clears throat> just, I, I always made sure I brought an extra bottle of propane and extra stuff, just in case. If you're prepared like that, it doesn't matter what age you buy. You could go buy a 1970s motorhome, maybe a Chieftain or a Brave from Winnebago. Maybe you like those style, those retro RVs. Then at that point, that will resolve the age part. And if you want to go to a national park or a state park that has a restriction on the age, there are plenty of dry camping areas outside of national parks that you can go to. So make sure you check into that. I think that's going to be the next evolution of RV camping.